turn it on first, yeah? I'm getting a nod. So that should come on. No. Oh. <laughs> Green light. One. So sun shining, 2.7 is going back to the grid. What have we got up there? 3.4. So, oh, there we go, we just went back to heating and it just clicked over and putting 2.8 kilowatts into the hot water system. Let's take a quick look through the menu. We've got savings, so we can click savings. So we can see that we're, today we've saved three kilowatt hours and yesterday was almost nothing. Uh, what else? We've got some down, no. Tick, back to the main menu. Readings, okay. So we're exporting almost nothing. Uh, output is 1200 watts. Input 58%. Output current 9 amps. Heat sink temperature is 52 degrees. Scroll down a bit. We got voltage, voltage max, and an overview. Go back to the main one. Information. Okay, so we've got firmware, current date, power fail. Well, we got last grid fault, grid sensor, so that's just a bunch of information I don't understand. Link devices, we've only got the one link device there for now. Boost timer, tank one, tank two. So you can go into that, and or you can actually do a couple throughout a day. And you can also set it through the week. So that's pretty neat, there's plenty there. And obviously we have got two tanks, so we can do two different setups if we want to. What else we got? Go down to settings time and date so we can set that up I have not set that up yet we've got icons tank one oh we got radiator underfloor pool none awesome so you can actually you can change it if you if you're doing it to different different output sources generation the Sun I wonder what that changes to turbine or Sun back out of again language English backlight I've got that set to permanently on so I can do some videos contrast uh, priority heater one heater two so you can set your priorities up advanced passcode is four zeros grid supply okay link devices so we can actually add the devices CT inputs passcode and restore settings if we want to boost it we simply click and hold that clicks over and then we boost the tank and it'll boost for a whole hour so it's pull, pulling from the grid at the moment so that'll ramp up no doubt right. cancel boost tick there we go cancel back out of that again and down the bottom there we've got we've got a three-way switch so we've got on off and bypass so on is obviously in the state we're on now off turns the entire unit off and bypass completely bypasses the unit and keeps the wife happy on a really cloudy day if you've got any more questions about this device let me know i'd be more than happy to do some more videos and we shall test the hell out of it and see how it goes Thanks very much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one.